The ability to control the speed of our car precisely is an important skill, but it can easily be overlooked. An expert driver should be able to read the road ahead, choose the correct gear, and then use the accelerator pedal accurately to vary the vehicle speed to suit the road and traffic conditions. This skill is called acceleration sense, and once mastered, it will give us more control of our speed so that we can drive smoothly without needing to use the car's brakes any more than necessary. This video will show how we can use acceleration sense as this is a skill that will have benefits on every journey. Acceleration sense is an ability that can really show how skilled a driver is and also a skill that can be very satisfying for the driver to use. The principle to remember is that the accelerator pedal works both ways. Many drivers only use the accelerator to make their vehicle go faster, but when lifting off the accelerator, it can also be used to decelerate the car. The benefit of controlling our speed in this way is that we will give a smoother ride to our passengers, save fuel, and even reduce tyre and brake wear. When cruising on a safe road, we will usually drive in the highest gear suitable, which keeps the engine revs low for the best fuel economy. However, this will mean that if we need to slow the car for any reason, then we will also need to change to a lower gear. So when we see that we are approaching a situation that will need us to have precise control of our speed, for example a series of bends, then we would choose a lower gear that would be more responsive. This will give us room to accelerate or decelerate the car within that gear and this will allow us to control the momentum of the car by varying the pressure on the accelerator. The skill is to use effective forward planning and vary the pressure on the accelerator early enough to change the car's speed without the need to use the brakes. Since we can see the next village approaching, we lift off the accelerator completely to allow the car to decelerate. Whilst rolling like this, no fuel is being used by the engine, which means that we are travelling for free. If we use this technique whenever possible, this will result in a substantial fuel saving. Let's look at a couple of situations where we can practice our acceleration sense. Here we are driving on a national speed limit A road between country villages. To allow enough time to change our speed, we need to look well ahead up the road. Then as we spot and assess each approaching bend or hill, we adjust the pressure on the accelerator to speed up or slow down the car. When lifting off the accelerator, the amount of deceleration will vary depending on several factors, such as the gear we are in and the type of car we are driving. There will be more deceleration when using a lower gear, when driving a lighter car and when the car's engine is fairly large. Of course, when driving with higher gears, in a heavy car or a car with a small engine, there will be less deceleration when fully off the accelerator, but the technique is still useful. Indeed, when driving electric cars, the deceleration effect is much stronger, as the car will use the electric motor to generate power as the car slows, reducing the need to use the brakes even further. We will still need to use our brakes when we need to slow more quickly, such as for a tighter bend or lower speed limit. But since we are planning as far ahead as possible, it should be possible to brake smoothly so the car stays balanced and following traffic has adequate warning. We wouldn't recommend using the gears alone to try and slow the car quickly, as choosing a lower gear to use engine braking will give less control on slippery surfaces and since our brake lights won't be illuminated, following traffic won't be warned we are slowing down. Here we are driving in a busy urban street. 
And again, we can see that we will need to control our speed carefully to stay safe. Since we are driving at around 20 miles per hour, we have a choice of second or third gear, but we have chosen second gear as it will give more control. Just because we can change to a higher gear doesn't mean it's always the right thing to do. Consider which gear will be more versatile. When driving along streets with lots of parked cars, tight corners or steep gradients, we usually stay in second gear and change up to third when on wider, safer streets as they have less potential hazards. It is easy to find ourselves repeatedly changing between second and third gears, so we try to plan ahead as far as possible to reduce unnecessary gear changes. If we are struggling to get a good feel for the accelerator pedal, consider changing to footwear with thinner soles. So, Acceleration Sense is not suggesting that we should never use the car's brakes. Instead, we are trying to use the car's accelerator more precisely so that we can reduce the need to brake as often or as hard. If we use this skill when appropriate, we will definitely enjoy a smoother ride and the potential fuel savings that can be achieved. So, remember to plan ahead as far as possible. Choose the most responsive gear. Use the accelerator precisely to vary your speed and brake smoothly when needed. If you found this video interesting then please click like and subscribe to our channel as it really helps other people find our videos. Thanks for watching.